playoffs, but does that help? Yeah, I mean, there's comfort. I mean, there's, I guess, familiarity there. Um, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, but you're not, I'm not really looking at that. I, I, I think we know more to expect. Last series, we did too. I mean, it was exactly kind of what we thought. There was very low scoring series and, you know, the numbers didn't really matter uh, individually. It was just about, about, you know, getting that one extra goal every game. So um, I think the final scoring last series was 15 to 14. And, you know, when you have a series like that, I mean, there's, it's the little things that matter the most and, and that's still going to matter this series. But yeah, I think it's, it, there's a good chance it's going to be, we're going to need to score more goals than, than 15 this series for sure. Your game seems to translate very well to the regular season. There's a lot of open ice. Is it harder to transfer what you do to that tight game in the playoffs? Um, yes and no. I think, I think you find other ways to be a factor. And, you know, I, I, I don't think there was very few guys in that last series that were offensively what they usually are. And the guys that did get going were guys that got had some success early and got a little bit of feel. And um, there wasn't a lot of puck possession. There was no time and space. Um, so you got to, like I said, you got to find other ways to to uh, to to you know have a factor on the game. And you know, I think uh, I was happy with a lot of the stuff that the way I was able to contribute off the score sheet. And um, but at the end of the day, I'm an offensive player that you know needs to contribute in that area. And this is a series we're going to need to score some goals. So I know it's a, it's a very you know it's not a different mindset in terms of how you have to play, but it, it's going to be a different type of series for sure. Yeah, and it, I mean not even scoring the goals, it's creating the skating, the open yep. ice. It, yep. it seemed like as the series went on, you were able to do that. Yeah, I think I was pretty you know uptight the in game one. I just didn't know what to expect. I, I haven't you know this isn't. As much as I'm a 33-year-old, 15-year 15, 15 vet, it's uh, I've never been in a position where I've been a team that has such a great chance to win a cup and at the top of the conference, and you know, and then you play a team that could have arguably been at the top of the conference with us had they been healthy all year, and you know, you enter right into that. It's tight checking. There's you know, there's a history with the two teams, and you know, it was a brand new experience for me and one I'm glad I got. And you never know when you can tap into that going down the road, and. Um, you know, it was. I, I've never been through anything like that in terms of series. It was. A, it was the hardest hockey I've ever played in my life, and at any level. And I think. Bo I think both teams would probably say the same. So, um, you know, this this team. It's gonna. Like I said, it's probably gonna be a little different series. You don't change your mindset. You don't change the things that make you successful in the last one. But yeah, I mean, this is gonna. There'll be probably. It'll be a little more high octane this this time around, and less maybe a little bit less of a chess match. And um, although I think when we're able to make it that way, it, it benefits us with our depth and and how we play. And then the uh, last two home games have been really good. First two were fine, but not, you know. I think game two is really good. I think yeah. game one was our worst game of the series for right. sure, yeah. But, so now you've got two at home again. Yeah. Do you do you guys talk about that at all? Like, we need to come out here and, and make home ice matter. You don't need to talk about it. I mean, exactly. that team's so good at home. We've been good at home, but we're also a good road team. The nice well, thing is say, we, yeah. we know that we can win in any building, whether it's ours or somebody else's. And that speaks to our depth because we're not a, you know, the biggest benefit of having home ice is line matching, and that's something we don't really do. We, we you know, Pete trusts all of our lines to play against anybody, and that really helps go, and that, that helps your game to translate for home and road. I've played on teams where it felt like you were a totally different team uh, because of the matchup. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there will be some this series for sure, but uh, I think, yeah, we, we definitely know what happens. You don't want to be in that... I don't know if there's. I've had a worse feeling in hockey than than that day after the going 0-2 uh, last series. So I think everyone knows in the back of our mind we want to, you know, not have that happen again. We've gotten to see why Johnston now for a season and a series. I mean, what, what have you learned about him and, and how really determined young man he is on the ice? Open? Yeah, you know what? He's he's kind of got that that kind of ice water vein disposition. Uh, very very laid back kid, calm. Um, He's mature. Um, you know, he had his he had his ups and downs throughout the regular season. I think kind of like everybody did. There's a, you know, the way we're structured. You're gonna have hot streaks. You're gonna have cold streaks. Things like that. And you know, he really started to trend upward at the end of the year. I think Stank coming up and and being in the lineup, uh, they found some chemistry. And then Jamie got like their their line was our best line down the stretch, and their line was our best line in that last series. So, but it's gonna take. Uh, you know, he he's a tremendous player and. Um, I think a lot of us want to kind of join him at his level of game, and uh, I know we got guys that can do that. And he, he was, you know, he was our, him and Otter were our best players in that first series, and 
you know, we're going to need uh, we're going to need them to keep going, but we're we, we expect other guys in this series to get going as well. You know Nathan McKinnon very well, and he's a hard finalist. And, uh, yeah. Can you can you put a number on how many challenges it is to deal with that guy? On, on yeah, I, no, he's 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 obviously a gifted gifted player, and I think you know between him, Rantanen, and Makar, I mean that's pretty that's a pretty big three headed monster. They're going to play a ton. Um, everyone's going to have to pitch in trying to shut them down. So. Um, I think the best way to play against a team like this is, you know, play in their end and make them defend, and um, and then when they are, when they do have the puck, just know, know, you know, that they're out there and limit their time and space. I mean, you're not you're not going to shut them down, but you can limit them, and uh, that's the way you, you play guys like them, like McDavid, Drysaitel, you know, these these guys that are. Um, really dominant one-on-one -on -one players. I think that's uh, that's the only way to defend them. Have you been on both sides with the, the break in between, the, the short turnaround, obviously, and, and a little bit lengthier one? Yep. Uh, in 19, when we beat Tampa with Columbus, we had like a week off, and we didn't know who we were playing until two days before. Exact same situation they've been in. Um, and I think there's advantages to both. We lost game one. Boston was kind of still in game seven mode when they played us and they beat us in game one in overtime and um, we won game two but I mean I think there's I don't I don't really think it shakes out one way or another I think the way that we're structured we don't we have some d-men playing some big minutes but up front our forward minutes are very spread out and, and quite low compared to other teams so I think the wear and tear that way uh, is easier to manage so hopefully that plays to our advantage in uh, when you, you only have a day in between.